it was like a slap in the face and really hit me in, deep in the heart knowing that he he mr keith allison is attending such um this honorable uh, occasion My childhood was very happy. Uh, I mean, no one could ask for more until um, the 1967 war happened. And then on June 5th, uh, I mean, we heard the drums of war, that's something gonna happen. And uh, we all gathered, both of my sisters, their children, my sister-in-law, we gathered all in one one house. It's exactly 10 minutes to midnight. I remember that a big knock came on the door, and uh, the, another uh, uh, village elder came and and said to my father, "What are you still doing here?" And he said, "Why?" And he said, "The Israeli army already occupied into the village." He said, um, "You need to leave because they don't want any resistance. They will shoot whoever they see." Um, we saw people coming back and um, like crying and running. So the people said the Israeli army start um, um, shooting at them. Uh, so they asked them to line up and say, which one is your home, which one is your home? And we were thinking that people can, you know, they're gonna allow families to go one at a time. They didn't. So people witnessed uh, the bulldozer bombing and de demolishing their home right there in the front of them. So as is, in the middle of the night, all of us children, we, whatever we had on, we left. So many people just didn't even have time to put shoes on. We got to the close by village, it's called Beit Sira. They gave us the, the hall, the, like the village hall. So we stayed inside the home for about seven more weeks. It was about 65 of us. 100% curfew. We are not allowed to open the door. There's no bathroom, there's no kitchen, there's nothing, just a room. We just sat there day and night. And the children were always crying. My cousin was pregnant. She was about to have her child. Her husband went to get some food and they killed him. Another cousin, same, same. he went to get some food. He had supermarket. They also, the Israeli army killed him. I, I, I can never forget those scenes. You know, I was 12, but I was very much aware of my surroundings and old enough to, to remember these um, events and these circumstances. You know, this happened what, 50 plus years ago, but it just as it happened to me yesterday, because I cannot take these memories out of my my mind. I lived them. I lived every minute of it, and it's how Robin. Is, is the cause of all this. It was like a slap in the face and really hit me in, deep in the heart, knowing that he, he, Mr. Keith Allison, is attending such um, dishonorable uh, occasion.